What's up, everybody? It's your boy, A-Dub, a.k.a. King Alan Alexander, and I know I haven't given you guys any type of tutorials in a little while, but I'm back. Here I am with a Premiere Pro tutorial showing you how I did this effect that's located in one of my videos. I'm going to show you the effect really, really fast um, before I start doing it. Boom. Uh, go to my YouTube channel, adubproductions.com. Adub Productions, actually. Um, I'm going to go to my playlist, music videos. Um, down she don't want and I believe I do this this effect in um second at 19 seconds in this video so check it out the text is gonna like appear as I move to the side see that and I also do it at um 31 seconds right here as I move yeah okay so that's what we're gonna do I want you guys to understand and follow along with me while I do this because um, I want you guys to understand that you could also do this with um, text, um, with objects. You could create a solid object and when that object is moving, your text could be um, disappearing into it, if that makes any sense. But anyway, I'm going to show you. Let's dive into it. Open up Premiere Pro. Boom. Boom. Opening up Premiere and we're going to get into it. For those of you that aren't subscribed to my channel, subscribe, Adub Productions on YouTube. I'm King Alan Alexander on all social medias. Give myself a shout out while I start this tutorial. New project, we're going to call this text appear or text this appear. All right. Browse, we're going to save this to the desktop. Desktop, new folder, text this up here, toot, create, choose, and it automatically saves all, save as project, so all the assets to this project goes into that folder, okay, alright, first step we're going to do is we're going to import our media, go to the bottom corner where my arrow is right here, double click so you can find your media, my media is located on my G drive, in this folder right here called Dominica 2017, day number two, clip number one, import, blah da boom, blah da bang, blah da bang. Double click on the clip and it will take it into the um, preview window and you go to the area in the clip that you want to work with. And I think mine is about one minute or so. Here it is right here. Let me play a little bit of it. Alright, I'm going to. Start right about here. So I'm, I press I to mark an endpoint, and then I press my spacebar to let it play again, and then I press O to mark an out point. That's short enough for me. All right, now got my clip in there. Short clip, pull passing by, right? Short clip. So now the second step is to bring in our text. Okay, text, new title, still. Still, uh, default still, boom. I'm going to call it, um, what, uh, name. Uh, okay. Now, let's go over here into our title menu that opened up. So you just click anywhere and type something. I'm going to type, type what I type. A dash D U B B space P R O D U C T I O N S. Okay, A dub production. Wait. Duck. I forgot to see. I always do that. Productions. A dub. All right. Go to title properties and change this font. Click right here and change the font color to black so you can see it more. And change the font. Go up here where the font is and start typing impact. I am. Okay. Impact. Boom. Now you can see the font. Um, and actually go back to title tools and select the arrow. And right here, get get the um, arrow on the edge of the um, the font. Hold down Shift and just make that font a little bit bigger. Position it where you want to position it. I'm gonna position it about right here on the pole, right next to the pole, right? Not on the pole, but right next to the pole. Okay. So now click back on the clip, the original clip. Boom. Now you're on the clip. You see in our timeline that name disappeared because we didn't put it in the clip yet so drag that name over to the clip boom now you got that name on the clip and as you can see 
Boom. I might even want to, um, I might even want to. All right, so just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to do the whole thing. We're just going to do it to the end of the clip, you know. Um, but ideally, you'd want that object to pass all the way across the screen. But here's what we're going to do. Okay, click on that clip in the timeline. Click on it and click on effects control. And you see that uh, if I clicked on this, this came up. But I'm clipping, clicking on the clip called name. And that clip's effects controls comes up. You go to opacity, drop that menu down, and the tool that you're going to use to create this mask is called the free draw bezier tool. Click on that free draw bezier tool, and what you're going to do is you want to um, create a mask. So click near the pole. Not you don't have to be directly on it. What I like to do is I like to click a large area beyond my um, text so that just in case the text drifts around the screen the whole area is covered and this right here anywhere where this text is inside this square it's going to be visible if that makes any sense the text is inside the square as you move the square this text stays there you, you'll see what I'm talking about okay so okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on the toggle animation that will turn on our stopwatch this little stopwatch right here in the effects panel click on that that makes our first keyframe right so as we go along step by step I'm going to fast forward this part but right now I'm gonna show you what I'm doing step by step okay so you go go to next keyframe actually you go to um go previous keyframe one all right, figure out that. I'm gonna do it this way. But this way, see right here in the window, it says step forward one frame to the right. Okay, boom, it steps it forward. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna, this right here moves this. See how it wipes it? Yeah, you get the idea now. We're animating this. So boom, step forward again. Um, adjust it to where it needs to be relative to the object that you are trying to make it disappear into. Um, and just keep on going, keep on going. So it gets closer, closer. All right. Do I need to fast forward past this part for you guys? See what I'm doing, right? It's creating keyframes. As I'm gonna see these keyframes right here. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um. Boom. So it's gonna appear some more again. Boom. And you guys can do this neater. Then I'm doing it because I'm just doing it quick just to show you guys what I'm doing. I actually added something right there which I didn't want to but moving this. Um, but you'll see. You'll see. Okay. So it's coming back again. It's actually coming back again. Then they're going to disappear some. But when we play it in real time, you'll get the idea of what is going on here you can actually adjust the edges of the keyframe here I mean of the uh, mask okay wait a minute see I went ahead too far so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the previous keyframe boom see that's what this these tools right here come in handy in case you do something like that so step ahead, boom, move the mask. All right, let me fast forward through this part.
Lights. Alright, alright, alright. All right, so this drawing is done. All right, so let's uh, go back out of here and see what we've created here. Um, boom, 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 boom. See how that disappears? That's what we created right there. But what's dope about this is you can actually go back in here into the effects and um. Click on this and make sure you click on the effects. But you can actually go through here and add more keyframes if you want. Like right here, if I want to move it closer to the pole, because you see there's a little gap, I can just go ahead and move that and it will add another keyframe there. So if you see any point where it, which you don't like or something like that, like you know, you can actually add and remove keyframes if you want to right within this one. Like, you know, but it's it's. I seem to have did kind of a good job, so I'll just leave it like that. So go ahead and play it back and see what we got. Boom. Hey, the production disappearing into the pole. A little short tutorial for you guys. If you got any questions about this, um, just um, leave a comment and I'll uh clarify anything that you may not have understand. Okay. So once again, let's review real fast. What we did was we brought in our clip and then we clicked on title, new title, still title. It brought up the title menu. We typed in whatever we wanted to type type in. We positioned it with the um, um, to change from title properties to title tool. We clicked on the arrow so you can move the text around, right? After we moved the text around and we got it in a position that we wanted to, we went ahead and clicked back on the clip, the clip, the actual clip, and came out of the title menu, right? Because when we're in the title menu, we see nothing, we're able to um, operate the functionalities of the text, we're able to manipulate the text. A lot of times that could be confusing. This is basic, basic after effects, um, um, basic, basic, uh, Premiere stuff, okay? So I want you guys to understand that. When you open up the title menu, when you open, make in a title, it opens up the title menu. When You can got to go back to the clip to add the title in. So after we went back to the clip, the title wasn't there that we created, or the text wasn't there that we created. So we went into right over here on the side, and we drug that in. So then it went at, into, into the actual clip. It became an asset in the clip. It went over top of the video, and this is just like um, Photoshop. Whatever layer is on top, like in here, is the layer that, that's going to be shown. Like if this title was below the video, we wouldn't see it. Watch this. Boom. See? Now you don't see it because it's below, right? So we put the video underneath and you see the text, okay? Just like Photoshop. So, boom. Um, when we did that, then we... Um, we clicked on effects control, right? We got the effects control, and then we 
with the arrow we selected the text that we created and it brought up the um, properties this was closed so we clicked on opacity right and then we um, clicked on the uh, Bezier the free draw Bezier tool and we drew out a mask we clicked right here we clicked right here we clicked right here and we clicked right here and then after we drew our mask we um, clicked on the stopwatch that's next to the mask when you click on that stopwatch don't click on it again because it starts creating these little um, uh, what do you call these these things these diamonds I forgot what you call them I, I, keyframes it created um, our first keyframe so we moved ahead one frame and then another frame and then as we are moving frame by frame we use our um, the hand tool in here and we just positioned we just positioned the uh, mask all right and then that's how we came up with our animation I'll just move that mask a little bit all right so that's basically it. you export that and then you got your video all right guys I hope this was helpful I hope I broke it down to you guys I like to break it down so everybody can understand it like I said if you have any questions leave a comment in the uh, comment section and I'll try my best to get back to you mad fast a dub a dub productions King Alan Alexander like comment subscribe share don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share real easy um, little trick tutorial to um, shoot you, you know raise your video bars up a little bit anyway whatever <laughs> so um thanks to all my new subscribers for um subscribing to my channel i really really appreciate you guys um i'm trying to like really you know invest more time and give you guys some stuff some of my knowledge because i've been really blessed over the years and i just want to share um my knowledge and as well as some of my story with you guys as I get more comfortable, I'll start like um, making more videos telling you guys more about me and stuff like that and showing you guys more of what I do, you know what I mean? But um, as of right now, just, uh, you know, when my subscribers go up and people think, when I think people are interested, then I'll, you know. Anyway, holla at your boy. Um, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.